Hi, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I will show you how I built my own super sturdy CNC out of fiber concrete. I am building RC model planes since I am a kid. I love tinkering and I've been dreaming about my own CNC for many, many years. I am happy to finally share the highlights of the build with you. The machine base was made from one solid piece of 80 by 80 centimeters and is about 10 centimeters thick. The nuts were placed directly into the mold and the ones for the rails are tightened down with screws. On the concrete facing side the nuts were connected by a metal band and screws with thread lock to anchor them robustly to the fiber concrete. The whole machine was sealed with a two component epoxy coating that is chemically resistant, oil proof and if applied in thick layers can be sanded easily. Usually, granite surfaces are calibrated with a special super flat metal polisher and various rounds of finer and finer abrasive applications. Here, a simple piece of MDF wood with sandpaper on the back gave me a surprising accuracy of about 5 micrometers. The triangular support and is anchored 4 times with M16 threaded rod. Both the terminal and the machine bed have an extra recess with inlaid nuts to mount the stepper motors. And the level where the ball bearings are mounted is lower than the rail level so that all components reach the same height from mounting the top layer. Here are the main components that I used for my build. NEMA 23 stepper motors, HGH 20mm linear rails, 2.2 kW water-cooled G-Penny spindle. To control the CNC I used the Gerbil software on an Arduino Uno. When building your first CNC machine you easily run into the problem that you need a CNC to build a CNC. For casted CNCs you only need tools for woodworking that most hobbyists have at hand and still get a sturdy machine. Fiberglass snips are the most expensive part of the raw machine, but still cost a fraction of the resin of an epoxy granite machine. Fiber concrete combines the high pressure capabilities of concrete and the tensile properties of fiberglass. On top of that, concrete is produced in massive amounts for the construction industry and available locally for only a few bucks. If you want to build a similar machine yourself and want to know more about how I did it, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and happy tinkering!